Hello everybody and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to automatically track text using the new Bezier masking. Now this tutorial I'm super excited about. As you may have known, a couple videos ago I uploaded a video showing how to track text and I showed it was a bit awkward, you did have to do quite a lot manually. Well, Vegas has just released an update yesterday which allows you to actually track text more automatically which is a great feature so yeah I'm making the tutorial as quick as I can I want to show you how to do it it's super easy now before starting the tutorial you have to make sure that your Vegas Pro software is up to date to do this you want to click help at the top here go into about and you want to make sure you're on build 261 I tried to do this earlier and it didn't work because I was on build 248 so I'll leave the link in the description below where you can download this build. And also before I start, I'm going to show a comment on screen now. The comment is from Pro Tips TV. He was the one who showed me how to do this. So check out his channel. Massive thank you to him. He's really helped you. Okay guys, so getting started with the tutorial, you want to first import your media. To import your media, you want to simply click on this top corner and click import media. Alright, so I've got this video here that I'm just going to open. I'm going to drag it straight onto the timeline. And I'm just going to click yes here. Me hitting yes there just sets my project settings to the same as that video. Now for this video I've just got a clip of me literally recording my wardrobe. My wardrobe's got some stickers on that I put on when I was younger and I thought they would be quite good to track. So if I just hit play on this. Yeah, you can see it's me just simply walking around, swinging my camera around basically at the wardrobe. So if you've seen the past few tutorials, you'll know how to do the Bezier masking. If you don't know how to do it, we're going to go through that now. You first want to hit Video Effects. You want to click Bezier Masking. And then because of what only needing to track text, it doesn't really matter what shape you choose here. It's all up to you. If you want to choose a shape more preferred to what you're tracking, that's fine. But for now, I'm just going to choose the default shape. So you want to just drag and drop that onto the clip. That'll then add the effect to the clip. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure your cursor is at the very beginning of the track here. And then looking on your preview window, you want to scale this mask to the size of whatever you're going to track. Now I just want to track this little circular sticker here, so I'm just going to make sure it's dead center. I'm then going to resize this a bit just so it's not as large. I think we'll do that. That should do. Once you've got your mask set how you want it, you want to move over back to this settings menu. You want to click mask one. You'll see there are quite a few settings here. Most of them are just to do with the scale of the mask. As you can see when I move that it changes that. We're not going to really need to mess around with that though. So we can just move on from that. And then we we'll want to click tracking down here. So once you've clicked on tracking. If you click on options. You'll have a few more options related to the tracking itself. The top one here precision is basically how precise the track is going to be. For now I'm just going to keep it on normal. As I'm not too bothered about it being on high precision. If you do have it on high precision, it'll take a little bit longer to track, but it's up to you, however precise you want it. For mode here, I'm just going to keep it on location, as that's all we really need. If you just want to mess around with rotation and location, and size rotation and location, that's completely up to you. But it just means that in the end, your text will also move with size, rotation and location. Because I just want my text to follow the location, I'm just going to keep it on. Now the keyframe interval is basically the gap between each keyframe. So the lower you have this, the more accurate the tracking is going to be. The higher you have it, the less accurate it's going to be. But it's completely up to you. You can mess around with these values. I'm just going to keep it as it is for now. Before we start, I am just going to scale this up a bit just to make sure we've got everything in it. So I have scaled up the mask a bit here just because I know when I zoom in, the circle is going to get a little bit bigger. So I just want to make sure it stays accurate. Once you've got your settings how you want them, just hit start. may take a little while, but as you can see at the bottom, it's just running through the timeline, creating all the keyframes. Why did it stop? If it does stop at any point, you can just hit start and it should be able to continue through. Sometimes it will have a bit of trouble. If it is having a bit of trouble, just move forward a little bit on your timeline, readjust where the mask is and hit start again. It should then continue from there. Sometimes you have to remember this Bezier Mask tool is a new feature at Vegas Pro 16 so it will sometimes be a little bit buggy but for the most part it's okay. If it does stop just move a few keyframes ahead and restart it. Now I'm going to click at the start of the track here. I'm going to hit play it and we're going to see how well it's worked. So yeah, as you can see it's tracking the circle. 
and there you go you can see we got all the way through to the end now if you did see my last tutorial on how to track text you'll know this is where it got really finicky you'd have to mess around with copying all the keyframes but now we don't have to do that anymore if you select your clip you want to go to tools at the top here scripting and there should be a script for add text to motion track this is why you need to make sure you have your Vegas Pro updated because if it's not updated to the latest build this option will not be here so once you find that just click on it you can add an offset here but if you want it to be directly on where you've done the motion tracking just click OK and don't mess on with the settings and there you go as you can see it's added some text into your video timeline if we move to the beginning here and we hit play we can see that that text does follow that circle all the way this is where it's up to you to mess around with the settings so I'm just going to speed this bit up a little bit if you want to know how to edit text better click above I have a tutorial on how to edit text and how to add text if you want to have a look at that then you can but for now yeah I'm just going to have a little mess around with the settings So here we go, I've just edited a couple things, I've made the text colour white, I've changed its font, I've changed its size, and I've added a little outline to it. Now you'll notice at the bottom here, here are all the keyframes for the location. These have been exactly copied from the Bezier mask. So once you've got all your settings on your text how you want it, you can close that down. And the last thing we'll need to do is actually turn off the Bezier mask on the original clip. If you click event effects on here again, you can either use the little ticky box here to turn it off, or you can completely get rid of the effect by just clicking remove selected plugin here. And that's pretty much it. If we hit play from the beginning, you can see that the text tracks the circle and it's pretty accurate. So this is way, way easier. It's a lot faster than my last tutorial. I'm so happy Vegas has added this as soon as they have. But that is going to be where I'm ending this video, guys. So remember, if you want more tutorials, just tell me below what you want. Like, subscribe if this has helped. I really do appreciate any feedback on the videos. If you want to check out my main channel, my main channel link should be on screen now and it'll be in the description below. But that's it. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.